Good morning, friends. It's Nancy, and it's Sunday. So you know what that means. We're going to do a little self-care, but first I want to do a book haul. So yesterday, um, Doug and I went for a, an adventure day. Uh, it was nice and sunny. It was cold, but it was sunny. And uh, we went to a used bookstore near London, Ontario, that I have been to once before and I said you know I, I'd really like to get back there this weekend and then when I looked them up I found out they're only open on Saturday they're not open on Sunday or Monday and I ha actually have uh, Monday off um, for a stat holiday so one of the things I got was this giant ledger you'll note how they spelled ledger it has like a suede back. It's very soft. And initially I was disappointed. Um, because it looked like it was mostly like a scraps book. Where somebody has... Um, Vortex. Um, where someone has taken uh, newspaper clippings and glued them into the book. And for the first little bit, that's exactly what it is. I still think I can use these because they're I think I can use them for tags. I'm just pulling out the least loose parts to see. But then start to notice it gets a little more interesting. Wonder how old this leaf is. And it looks like this came from a dry goods store. Um, oh, but it says whiskey and tobacco here, so maybe I'm wrong. So the cotton handkerchief, shoes, moleskin, cotton, twist, um, a spool of thread, Two skeins of silk. These ones that have plain paper on the back are going to be ideal, aren't they? Look at the handwriting though. It's absolutely stunning. I've got 
got the camera pulled way, way back so I could get as much of it in there as possible. So glad these pieces of newspaper didn't get glued in. <laughs> So I'm looking forward to uh, you know what's interesting there's no no horizontal lines So clearly this dates to um, the First World War. Another little leaf. Half a leaf. Who knows when the journal dates to, but the newspapers are definitely World War I era. I um, have no way of knowing how many pages are in here because they're not numbered. Glass dishes, and they've used the G-A-L-F-S. Um, glass, glass tumblers glass tumblers so that's uh, giving me another hint why doesn't it have a date why is it making me crazy So for sure, I will be sharing some of this. The next thing I got there, I can come back down a bit. Let me move this. I looked and looked and looked at this when I was there last time, and I should have bought it then. Because it was on sale then. <laughs> um, the cover is beautiful. Uh, the spine, however, has been masking taped together. And it says, received on July 20th, 51, from my aunt. New Zealand. So he's got it identified as a commonplace book. I see a watermark there. And I'm not sure what that says. Presented by Miss Mance. But these are all handwritten. This one says uh, April 12th, 1835. And it's all different. This was um, September 24th, 1844. And it's all different um, poems. This is a picture that was glued in there. Uh, 
There's little drawings. This is 1849. There's like a little postcard maybe. This one says Alfred Fitzhenry, May 7th, 1835. The danger of procrastination. Hmm. I'll, I'll skip that page. But look at that. This. Mm, it's so beautiful. Mystical violets. little watercolors that have been pasted on. These pages are embossed. Wow, I didn't notice that. There's another little... This has been pasted in. That's been drawn in. I can't imagine the hours and hours of work that went into this. Hundreds and hundreds. And it's, ooh! It's got little dry things too. May all the names recorded here hmm. another little watercolor. Oh my gosh. That's a watercolor. These are embossed, these pages. Looks like maybe it was cut from a book. That's pencil drawing. That looks like it was a paper a cut. Watercolor. Another watercolor. Snowdrop. Sorry I'm going so slow, but um, this is actually the first time I'm act taking a real look at it. That's, that's a watercolor. And I thought uh, it's so unusual that it was worth a, a look. This is a paper doily envelope, I think. And it has this silk in the center. And it says kindness. Gorgeous. It's a pencil drawing. 
Okay, I think we've, we've seen everything. So we've got a few extra things to use too. Can't complain about that. The one's called My Books. It says 1892. All right. Um, I also at that uh, antique bookstore, I got some little things. So what I think is either they bought when they were buying books, some books had all of this, like it was that there was a a book of postcards or whatever in it, or sometimes maybe to the to Iris Bryant from JRB. Many joys to you. Oh, to my Valentine. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. says good wishes it's a Christmas card to Uncle Bob from Jordan this is um, uh, a blotter and I got it because it had this um, polar bear on it and I thought oh well, this would be cute in my pink journal, my pink Christmas journal. A little tag. There's another little Christmas card. It says, my wish is big, my card is small, but Merry Christmas to you all. All right. So I'm just going to flip through these. They're all in pl plastic, so I hope the glare isn't too bad. I got a ton of Christmas. This one's got um, silver glitter, and the glitter's tarnished. That's cute. tenants is there. There's a Christmas rose. This one is Christmas greetings from California. like this one with the ice. December 24th, 1906. 1907, this one's poinsettias. This one's 1955. one's heavily embossed and it's blank oh no oh, this isn't one that was blank I don't see a date that's pretty it's like purple marble in the back 1910 this one is a valentine. Lots of valentines. A few St. Patrick's Day. That's pretty with the lace. A 
heart for a diamond. Oh, she, they've just got engaged. This one's birthday. Birthday. Two of my favorites. Daisies and forget-me-nots. Here's a little kid. Poor thing needs a hat. Or a wig. There's the stork. Love those big roses. And then there's a champagne cup full of violets. All right. So after this um, foray, we went we went for a drive. We went for a drive through uh, St. Mary's, and we had to actually stop, turn around because I saw a great big sign for a library book sale. So I'll show you what I got and it there was just minutes left of the sale it was the last day so basically they said take what you want and make a donation because we're done so this I got this little Christmas book I don't know I don't know that I can actually use it <laughs> it's not exactly Nancy But it's got some cute pictures in it. I don't know. We'll see. I kind of like this one. It's not old. It's... Oh, 2002. glitter on it. Cute. Uh, this one is a collection of um, writings from Laura Ingalls Wilder. So it has little stories, little quotes. The good still rises over the bad in the hearts of humanity. Well, that's something we need to cling to, isn't it? So that'd be one. Oh, I, I thought this was neat. It's uh, it's just a small book, five by seven ish, but it has like little posters, if if that's the correct thing, about books. I love books. They're holding these tiny books. This looks familiar to me. Page 61. Let's see who the artist is. Nope. Don't know. Philippa Stanton. Do not know Philippa Stanton. Books and coffee, coffee and books. Well, yes. It's a picture of a library. Not a library, probably a bookstore. Joie de livre. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but... I thought it was fun. Ah, uh, little Christmas 
book. The end of the tale. This one, I have no idea what it is. Nineteen forty seven. So this is about guilds. So this is the the guild Saint Cosimo and Saint Damien, patron saints of the barber surgeons. Well, there you go. Portrait of Queen Elizabeth, wife of Henry IV, and member of the Skinner's Fraternity of Our Lady's Assumption. That's kind of fun. So there's different pictures in here. Portion of a funeral, Paul with the company's arms. The plantation of Ulster. Coats of arms of the twelve great companies in 1667. Mercers, grocers, drapers, fishmongers, goldsmiths, skinners, merchant tailors, haberdashers, salters, ironmongers, vintineer, vintineers, vintineers, cloth workers. That's an interesting spelling of vintners. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, this one. So when Catherine was, Catherine from Sunnyside Journals was doing her, uh, oh my God, William, Louis, and Oscar. I got it. So she talked a lot about, um, this was the book that she made from the book about um, William Morris. So this is all about William Morris and Jane. Yeah, that's Jane Morris as an old lady. There's William Morris. But also some of their friends. And little drawings they did of one another in the interiors of homes where they lived. So is that... Yep, that's Janie. Um, and it was painted by Rossetti. I'm going to do with it, but again, it was grab and go. That's kind of an interesting picture. There's lots of pictures in there that might be fun. Mm. Got woodland ideals. date. But I thought some of these pictures would be nice for 
card decorating journals. Look at all the mushrooms on this one. I got this one. It's a cookbook, a garden cookbook. So it has some interesting pictures and drawings and recipes. I got this one. Not that I need it. I already tossed a whole bunch of Christmas ideals, but again, honestly, I love the Santa at the back <laughs> and these four Santas. And these are beautiful, these uh, pieces of music. And that's that. Let me clear the desk and we'll come back and we'll talk about uh, something else. Okay. Welcome back. I decided I would decide I'm going to take one of these pages out for my pink Christmas journal. page. Just having a quick look to see if there's anything in here that's going to lend itself to decorating. So, okay. So this will be page thirteen of my recipe for a journal, uh, but this is for my pink journal. So, one. It's got some dirt. Um, the bottom corner will be covered with a pocket. So I guess I can... I thought there was one that was grubbier. Maybe I'm imagining things. So we'll use the grubby. Alright. Oh, this is going to be marvelous. down to a height of nine inches 
Oh, I cut something wrong. I did, I did. Try that again. I'm not sure how much of that got cut off. I'm sorry. Okay. So we chose a page, we folded it, we've uh, delivered on a pocket here, still thinking that I need to add some beads, um, but I do need to add a lace, um, a little lace collage. So this is a, it's a vintage hanky, I won't say it's old, but I wanted some perfectly flat, flat, flat lace. I'm going to put some bulky stuff on top. This sort of fussy cut. And when I say sort of, I mean sort of. Not easy. You think it was easy? No. I think it's because I'm used to turning the paper, not the scissors. And with lace, that's it's an added degree of difficulty. So this gets wrapped all the way to this side. I might trim that shorter, don't know yet. Okay. Now, I've got a yo-yo. I had two yo-yos actually. And a little lace thing. A crochet thing, I mean. Yeah. Remember how I did that. Okay, so 
I glued down the pocket. I did add the beads. Um, and now I've busted out the bling and had this had this card with three buttons and I decided I'm gonna use one of those buttons. I better tie a knot first. If I remember how. Oh, that just broke right off. Uh, I'm gonna get a shorter needle. I was using that beading needle to do the beads because they're you know, practically seed beads. This one's not much shorter, but... Okay, I had initially put a brad through there, that's why there's that little cut. I don't know if I've ever sewn a button on like this before in my life. <laughs> I must have. <laughs> so I'll make sure this is close to the edge of this little bit here so that it doesn't um, bulk up the journal itself too much. Okay. So some of this bling is uh, from some bridal crowns or whatever from that I got at the uh, thrift store a couple of months back. Don't know if I can get out the bling, but come on. Okay, um, let me just show you what I'm talking about. So I got this at the thrift store and I've just been cutting it apart and using little bits and pieces. Um, 
before I glue that down, I think I'll take a minute to put a couple stitches to hold this. This is not what I would call simple. You want to know what this is? <laughs> I have these little doodads and I just pulled down the plastic part that was around the crystal and I'm going to cut the wire. putting this tiny little star here.
so it has little pearls and a crystal. This one here, this is just a brad. These are old uh, crystal from me Making Memories, 2005. I definitely need to put some acetone in here. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Should I add that? Why not? It's on the desk. Might as well use it. Yeah, this was definitely on something and then I tore it off because I didn't like it. That looks pretty. bling back. Now I had a feeling, how are we doing for time? Oh my goodness. Um, I had a feeling I might like to do some stenciling. I did ink around, um, did ink with some antique linen around the edge. I have a, somewhere, no that's not it, hang on, I gotta find it, found it, uh, so I've got a piece of cardstock and I used this um, fussy, or not fussy, uh, dye, <laughs> I got it last year, I think, um, and I'm using it to make a stencil, so I'm just popping out. Popping out the... Uh, bits of holly here. It's very heavy cardstock. It's like chipboard. It's Let's call it what it is. So it wasn't uh, like the center should I should have maybe gone over it twice I don't know maybe it's time I need new plates for my big shot
we'll see how this works. Should have done this first. Before I did all that work on that pocket down there. Make sure the leaves are dark in the center. Not bad, not bad. Oh, I put that there because I was thinking, oh, maybe another flower. Is that add or subtract? I'm on the fence, man. I'm on the fence. I think we're good. Subtle. Subtle. Okay, I'm going to turn this over. I have a stencil I haven't used yet. Maybe I'll do half a tree with some stencil paste. Let's do it. accidentally uh, go into that shape there. Or at the top, for that matter.
Okay. Probably go over it with a little bit of ink or ooh, I might put some stickles where there's stars. Okay, I'm going to give this, 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 this a wash, grab a new coffee, and then hopefully I'll be able to show you the finished page before I close today. It's dry. I use this pigment ink and a hard, stiff brush to color and um, get some color behind the... Uh, the stencil paste. Now I'm trying to decide if I want to use crystal, gold, scattered straw, or just nouveau crystal. I think I'm going to go with the gold. I'm thinking just a little glisten and glimmer of gold is going to be exactly the thing that makes this page come together. I get them all. <laughs> all right. So Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you have a terrific Sunday and get some time to yourself to do some playing in your um, journals. Uh, I My next video will probably be Tuesday for Take Out the Trash. Um, although tomorrow I might do an Etsy update 
depending on how uh, how um, organized I get today. All right, you take care. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.